Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I really wanted to very simply talk to you about the importance of your environment on your physical health and your uh, emotional health. We know that we are adaptive and that we do inherit a certain kind of way of being or temperament by which we view the world. I believe that physical health and emotional health are inextricably related to one another and that our experiences of the world do in fact inform the way that our body responds to threats. We have different forms of threats in the world, but we are interestingly very conscious and very aware of the emotional and psychological and really social uh, sources of emotional stress. One could even argue that in the modern world, most of our stressors are in fact emotional. We are in some sense socially uh, isolated. We are not really living in the way that we are adapted to live according to more evolutionary ideas about what the brain and the body are sort of adapted for. So for me, as an advanced practice psychiatric nurse practitioner student, I am interested in taking emotional notes on the nature of psychopathology. I want to know how it develops, specifically the context uh, by which it develops. And I want to explore how the individual personality or temperament informs the adaptive response to the stress that, that is very much part of life. And this is very much a way of practicing what I think of as medicine that is actually grounded in respect for uh, the autonomic nervous system and the affective life of the individual. You see, we are different, but we share the social world. So we must relate within the social world. And this, I think, defines whether or not we find true emotional meaning, flourishing, and happiness in this life. I'm curious to know what you think. Do you think this may be the case? Do you think that there are limits, serious limits, to what we can do with the modern diagnostic statistical manual in psychiatry? Do you think that we need to account more for individual differences? Do you think that we need to account more for the ways that essentially we respond differently to medicines? I would love to know what you think. Uh, comment below. You can like the video. You can smash the like button, as all those famous YouTubers say. And subscribe if you want to see more from me. I am on fire with an interest in preventing disease and promoting psychological health and well-being especially within those intimate relationships. All right, take care, bye-bye.